Is this the legendary Bigfoot caught on camera? Or is it another hoax? Does it even exist at all? According to the man who shot this film, and dozens of people who claim to have seen it, it's the real thing. Tonight, the evidence is pieced together to bring you closer than ever before to the truth. You think it's all a hoax, and then all of a sudden there's one right in front of you, and you don't know what it is for sure. You're not, not sure whether it's a, it really is a Bigfoot or what. I saw it. I mean, he was about near that pass, probably 50, 60 yards. I mean, I'm, you know, I've got very good eyesight, and I've been hunting since I was nine years old. Yeah, from what the legend I hear about it, I don't think so. I mean, if it's Bigfoot, it ain't no bear around here. I ain't never seen a bear that big. I don't know. People's imagination, who knows? I believe in what I saw, and I'd say it was a Bigfoot. The creature, or whatever it is, is, is real. He's, uh, he's out there somewhere. When you think of Oklahoma, you think of the Old West, wide open prairies, Native Americans, land runs, and of course, tornadoes. But here in central Oklahoma, about 100 miles southeast of Oklahoma City, they have a unique phenomenon to add to the state's list of attractions, Bigfoot. Good morning, everyone. In today's show, we look into the Bigfoot phenomenon. With over 20 sightings it's now... It's day 18 of our Bigfoot watch. Now, don't forget to call us with your stories and sightings. local policemen believe that they may have seen Bigfoot while out camping. With over 20 sightings now on file, people are starting to take this it's serious. It's a cold night out there tonight, folks, so wrap up well. And don't forget to watch out for the Bigfoot everyone's talking about. Since 1998, there have been dozens of reported sightings of a large, hairy, ape-like creature standing some nine feet tall with a terrible odor. Those who claim to have seen him remember the experience vividly. I've never ran away from something I was afraid of before. <laughs> and I don't necessarily want to see it again, but I've never seen anything like that before in my life. No one knows exactly what they are. Reported sightings have come from as far afield as China, the Ural Mountains in Russia, and the forests of the Pacific Northwest of the United States. To some, they are called Sasquatch, or swamp apes. Others call them Yetis. The term Bigfoot was first coined by Dr. Grover Krantz in 1972, while he was investigating reports of large, upright, ape-like creatures in California, and came across a series of huge footprints the experts on primates and human evolution say that there is no such thing as Bigfoot. There's no physical evidence for the existence of Bigfoot. At this point in time, I think Bigfoot is a big fable. In all the, the a considerable amount of uh, time has been put into looking for Bigfoot, and not one skeleton, not one tooth, nothing has been found. Uh, that truly would verify the fact that it is something other than a, one of the various kinds of bears or someone dressed up to cause a sensation in their area or just to tease somebody. There was a giant ape called Gigantopithecus, but it became extinct over a million years ago in Asia. Maybe 50,000 years ago, early migrants uh, came across from Asia, across the Bering Straits or one of those crossings in the far north from Asia, and uh, they do have a, a similar animal in, to uh, Bigfoot in uh, Asia that has existed in, at least in the minds of the people over there for generations, and it's quite possible that that animal followed the migrations or was a part of the migrations that came to this country, and that would be the most likely origin of any 
higher primate other than man in this country. Those who know about Bigfoot uh, have uh, toyed with the idea that the Yeti, the Asian equivalent of Bigfoot, is in fact a remnant of Gigantopithecus, that it did not in fact go extinct tens of thousands of years ago, but persists in Asia. But the only big chunks we have are the anterior parts of three mandibles, or lower jaws. And the name is well deserved. The, the one is particularly massive. I strangely, and this may help those who liked Bigfoot in the United States, no other bones have been found. Tracks have been found, but their authenticity has always been questioned. And so far, the few seconds of film of alleged Bigfoots have been received skeptically. There is a film of a purported Bigfoot, which the hair is so uniform over the body that one has to assume it's a costume of some sort. Because in non-human primates, almost inevitably, they have variation in hair length uh, over their bodies. The local Seminole Indians believe that Bigfoot does exist and that it has special powers. It uses its magic to get away. A part of a hypnosis stage that it puts people in and to where it could be standing right there in front of you and you still wouldn't see it. Although it's highly unlikely that such a creature exists today, how do we explain the several thousand reported sightings across America? Some could be bears, tricks of light or shadows, maybe even elaborate hoaxes. But what about the rest? Three, four weeks ago, my daughter saw some creature like that standing behind a tree. That's all I know. Really? What did uh, she say about it? Well, she didn't know either. Some uh, kind of like a animals, you know, like a bear or something. You know, had a fuzz all over him. You know, he was tall. He was hiding behind a tree. Uh, I think that people are seeing Bigfoot or are just seeing a big bear. The bears that I I've hunted in Alaska stand up, and I mean, they're, they stand pretty tall. You know, uh, eight, ten feet. So they, they could certainly uh, mistake one for uh, for a Bigfoot. Yeah, I've never seen an animal in the wild with with a instep. Never seen one with three toes, and that's what really got to me, you know. And I still don't know what it is. I'd like to know. In the making of this program, dozens of eyewitness reports from local residents were examined. Some from years ago, and some still fresh in the air. The team's aim was simple: to visit the locations where the sightings had been reported most recently and if it did exist, to capture a Bigfoot on film. With the team was Cindy Bear, a local journalist from Tulsa, who has been investigating the phenomena for years, and David Wilbanks, a field researcher who has studied Bigfoot since he was a child. Generally, it's a creature, upright, bipedal, humanoid type creature, uh, anywhere from five to nine feet tall. Uh, we get reports of them having a a long reddish top hair over their body which is most common around these parts. A fairly large number of sightings that they relate a, a foul odor to and the more common uh, odor I've heard described is like a like a wet dog that's rolled in some really bad roadkill. For every one person that's willing to come forward and say something about it, there's a good chance there's three or four more in that same area that has seen the same thing and just, you know, doesn't want the ridicule or don't want to put their reputation on the line. But there is a lot more sightings reported in Oklahoma than what people realize. Unexplained encounters deep in the river bottoms when Bigfootville returns. God. Oh my.